Perhaps the fact that we give for granted that we need to treat uh, machine learning differently from uh, human learning. Um, this is a big assumption. I'm, I'm not saying that it, it is wrong. I'm saying that uh, it should not be an assumption. It should be properly assessed in the during the lawmaking uh, process. Um, right now, there is this perception that because machine can ingest so much content, uh, it can produce um, uh, sometimes a perfect uh, market substitutes uh, of the very same content that they have been trained on. Uh, this uh, deserves a different form of protection than in the case of uh, human learning. Now, this may be certainly the case in, a cer in certain uh, situations, but uh, we have to be careful not to treat different cases in different uh, in, in, in sorry, following the same uh, the same rules because that would lead to um, unbalanced solutions. Now, one of the main uh, issues uh, that uh, copyright law hasn't been able to address at the moment is the fact that uh, the technological processes, or better, the way in which the law uh, classifies the technological processes needed to uh, perform uh, uh, um, tax and data mining, which is often uh, the, the very first step needed also for uh, generative AI um, uh, applications, uh, they are almost entirely the same, particularly from a legal point of view. Now, the results may be very different. You know, in the case of tax and data mining, we have seen how this could uh, lead to identifying, for example, the spread of a pandemic, as in the case of uh, COVID-19, much before we uh, had uh, a, a evidence that a new um, that a new virus was there, simply by uh, comparing the data on uh, international flights uh, around the world. Now, I don't think this should be regulated by copyright. This is a public interest uh, um, form of uh, learning that can benefit the entire humanity. This type of activity should not be regulated by copyright. Creating Perfect market substitutes, on the other hand, so asking your uh, AI application of choice to give you a perfect copy of uh, your favorite uh, character or, or writing you the continuation of your favorite book series, then this is a very different uh, situation. And I, you know, uh, that, that, that's, that's an area that is much more familiar to the original copyrights remit. So these very two different uh, cases uh, at the moment are treated almost entirely the same by EU copyright law. And this is uh, the, the problem. And this is uh, when we first uh, came to this conclusion. That was uh, the first surprise we had.